Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's BDL44 coming at you with another video. So, um, yeah, man. First of all, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Um, from 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 my family and my situation to yours, uh, those who are mourning his death as an LA representative, somebody that does not gangbang, somebody that does not appreciate seeing young brothers lose their life, no matter where they at, no matter where they from. Uh, as somebody who who's very close to the music who pays attention to music from all over the, the country, especially hip hop, as a playlist curator. Uh, my heart is heavy for the loss of this young brother. He was only 20 years old. He, he came with a brand new sound. He was putting uh, Brooklyn back into a, a, a position uh, and, and, and his people, his, his, his community uh, in a position to be, to be uh, respected. And um, for him to lose his life as he's on the brink of the come up uh, it, 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 it burdens my soul quite a bit. So, um, that's just what I want to say before I say anything else. I'm, I'm, I'm truly, truly sorry, uh, that, that this young man lost his life in, in my hometown of Hollywood. Um, that, that shit is sad. Um, so I know a lot of people already know the news. I'm coming in this situation late, so I'm not going to be sitting here trying to break down what happened or what I think happened to any of that. It's been a couple of days, and you can see somebody else's videos for that. My my perspective on this situation is, and I've said this on a few forums that I've, I've commented on, if you're from out of town and you claim red or blue, particularly if you're from back east, there are a lot of people, and I mean a whole lot, who are going to look at what you do and see it as satire for what they believe, what they do. They 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 come back. This, this gangbanging stuff, as you know, goes back generations. Um, a lot of people have lost their lives. A lot of people are doing life. A lot of people have died in jail. A lot of innocent bystanders have lost their lives over the years. Police have killed many a person. Over this gangbang and stuff, we've had people live their whole lives out here off this gangbang and shit. Raise their families in this gangbang and shit. <laughs> I have family members um, that that are proudly, proudly gangbang. I wasn't raised with them or in their neighborhoods, but I'm related to them. They're my family. Um, and, you know, it's it's deep rooted out here. When you don't, when you're not from out here, or you may be from back east, and you might have um, came up a certain way, but gangbanging is brand new to y'all. In comparison, now I know that they've had Bloods and Crips in New York for probably over 20 years, and in the prison systems and all of that, I've heard my stories. I know that you, there's some real serious people out there riding and dying for that, for what for what it is that they claim. Um. But you got to understand, when you come out here, just to the average, nothing-minded individual who ain't really bout shit, ain't got shit, they grimy as hell. When they see you coming from back east, coming out here, shining, making money on their turf, um, you know, claiming what it is that they claim, but not, not living by it in the way that they feel that you should, regardless of what the truth is, if they see it that way, it could be a problem. It could be a problem. Now, I'm not saying that that's what happened to the young fella Pop Smoke, because I don't know what happened. No one does. It looked like a paid hit to me, to be completely honest. But looking at the situation head on, just looking at it for what it is, you know, I've heard uh, Blueface come out, <clears throat> rapper, young rapper from out here, and basically come out and say, you know, it's not all sunny palm trees and sunshine and all that. Paraphrasing, of course. You got to be on your toes. You got to connect with the right people and check in with the right people. And it's been so much made of this check-in, check-in type stuff. And a lot of people back east have uh, taken exception, exception to that. They don't appreciate ha thinking that they have to check in. But what the reality is, is checking in can be the difference between being involved in a situation and, and being cool. Not having any issues at all. Um, and checking in doesn't necessarily mean that you're coming in bowing down to somebody. It just lets people who need to know that you're in town, that you're an asset to their circumstances, 
just as you would want them to check in when they come, if, they, if someone's coming to your town. They need to know, be shown around. They need to be shown some love. You know, you want to be shown some love and you also want to be able to um, be invested in somebody's success. And that's what it's really about. And I know that's hard to, 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 that's a hard pill to swallow because nobody wants to be extorted. But essentially the whole parameter around that situation is you check in to the real, to whoever the real individuals are. You, you have to make your connections to know who you need to talk to. If you do this, you need to talk to them. If you do that, you need to talk to them over there, that kind of thing. But you know, if, if you know who you need to know when you get to L.A., you're not going to have any problems. That's the beauty of this city because everybody's connected from the top of the top to the bottom of the bottom, the bottom of the bottom. There is somebody who's somebody away from somebody. And if something goes wrong, a word can be put somewhere and it can make life difficult for them over there who would try to mess with you. So even if things do go wrong, even if some rogue individual wants to mess with you, uh, they're a phone call away from having their lives ruined for doing so swift justice or uh you know and and that's why i don't really blink when i see certain individuals um coming to town claiming this this hood or that hood uh coming from virginia or mississippi or atlanta and when they get out here they get enriched in certain communities it's because of these very things it's because of how la works it's unlike any other place in this world because it doesn't have to necessarily be about anything other than territory out here, you know, as to where other places it's like, okay, this, this game is what's fueling um, gunfire and that game is what's fueling people going to jail. Out here, the money is secondary to the territorial respect. People will see you as an enemy because you live two blocks away, one around the corner, down the street. They want you dead simply because you live over there as opposed to over here. Like, that's how fucked up this gangbanging shit is out here in L.A. It's fucked up, man. You know, and I don't know if it's like that anywhere else in, in New York, stuff like that. Yeah, you guys are adapting to the gangbanging shit, but this is like, it's, it's, it's a thing, but... It's not interwoven in such a way that it has so much history to where you can go back three generations and see nothing but one neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like, it's different. And, and it's because it's so enriched in the, the system of the city and of, of, the, of the entire state, basically, with the exception of up north that really don't really do that. Oakland and them, they don't really do that, but like, Certain parts in the north, certain parts, San Diego. It, it, this gang banging cartel slash all that energy, that shit runs everything. It 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 is in, it is woven in the fabric of how this city moves, L.A. particularly. So, I just want to tell everybody from out of town <clears throat> and to help them understand, from the standpoint of I from 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 my perspective as an outsider looking in. Because I never, ever was a part of any of this shit. But I just get it because I've been around enough people who have and who are. And I say this with love and, and, and respect in my heart. You are not safe out here if you gangbang and you come out here and you don't heed the culture that you're landing in. Because... People who really bleed and die for this shit are going to look at, if they're not smart, because a smart person is not going to judge nobody like that. But if they just, you know, of a certain mentality, they're going to want to take from you off the sheer fact that you are in their neighborhood, in their, in their area, doing better than them. Like, this, that's simple. You coming out here, you flashing, you living a certain way, you, you showing off a certain way. It's going to be people who take exception to that. And they're going to want you off the earth for no other reason but just because you're here and you're not respecting them in the way that they feel they should be respected. And the thing about that is, yeah, you may be the hardest of the hard where you're from. 
But when you come out here, even if you bring a lot of people with you, you're surrounded. Like, it, it keeps coming. People jet from one freeway to the next like it's nothing. Come to where you at, hop back on the freeway and be gone before anybody even know what happened to you. Like, that's just how L.A. works. There's a freeway entrance at every single where you look. Like, someone can come to you no matter where they at. They can get to you in an hour, hour and 15, no matter what. Even with the traffic. So, again, it's territorial, man. Territorial respect and money. That's what runs this thing. So if you're famous and you're out here and you haven't gotten yourself in, in, enriched in the, in the culture of this city and you're coming out here thinking this is just any old hood and everybody's every hood is the same. No, L.A. is not every hood's the same. L.A. is something very, very, very different in the sense that this gangbanging shit is real as generations pass and, and these people live and breathe that shit and they will die for it and they don't have to even have to be about no money a lot of times. It don't even have to be about, oh, you got this, you got... No, it's because you live over there. That's it. That's the reason why they're shooting at you because you live down the street. And you claim, you, you claim what's going on over there as opposed to what's going on over here. And that's that's enough. Make me hate you. You know? Like, that's been the mentality since fucking 70s. And even before that. So, y'all gotta understand, man. You know, again, recipes pop smoke. I hate seeing this shit. I hate seeing it. <laughs> Because I can tell you right now, even if this ain't a situation where what I'm saying directly is involved in what happened to Pop, the reality is, and this is the truth, somebody knows what happened there. And if he were prioritized, like, say, a Chris Brown or, say, a somebody else who has ties out here, the streets would handle that. Even if they are some rogue shooters that was paid $100,000 to do that, the streets would be able to collapse on that entity and remove them. If, if Pop Smoke had the type of cachet that you need to have when you gangbanging out here like that, when you, when you, when you come out here with, with those type of ties to your name. You see what I'm saying? Some are saying, well, he died because he didn't check in. Or he died because of the Rolls Royce situation. Or he died. No. It, it could have been those things. But I'm saying that those situations, whether they are the cause of the, or not, if he were enriched and in, in, involved and in, in, interwoven with the right people, it would be handled. Even if the cops don't get to it, even if the, the, the streets aren't speaking, it would be handled. Do you see what I'm saying? That's how L.A. works. Because everybody knows everybody. Everybody's two degrees away from somebody. And the word's going to get out. And when the word gets out, it gets over there. It gets over there quickly. How do you think... T and this is what I have to say. People killing TMZ for being in insensitive. But you got to understand. The key to what TMZ does which is get to everywhere really, really quickly, is, 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 is kind of in secret basically proving what I'm talking about. It don't take nothing but a second for TMZ to get anywhere. They're based in L.A. Why? Because they know who they need to know to get information quickly. That's really what it is. They can find themselves anywhere in this city in a matter of seconds. Seconds. And we know damn well they're not gangbangers. We know damn well they're not interwoven in somebody's street ties. But everybody's two degrees away from somebody else. That's LA, how L.A. works. Just two degrees. One phone call away from one phone call to get to anybody. Anywhere in the city. Anywhere in the, in the, in the coast, basically. I, I hope that people understand that even though Blue Face may not have been as respectful as you would have liked him to say to sound when he was saying what he had to say that there was some real real honest 
life-saving advice involved in all of everything that he said. It's life-saving advice involved in that. And you could be the hardest of the hard, the toughest of the tough, come out here deep as you want to be. And may be able to handle yourself without any issues. Maybe you can. But you're two phone calls away from not being as safe as you think you are, as deep as you think you are. Dudes will hop off them freeways and be there in seconds, depending on what it is. It's just a, it's it's a web, this city is. It's a web, man. It's a web coming from all angles. From this one point to that point, to this point to that point, everybody's interwoven. That's essentially what I'm saying. So when you come out here, just know the right people. Get to know the right people. And the thing about it is this. This is the key that I want to say to people, particularly New York people. If you're interacting with the right people, you're going to feel respected. If you check in with the right people, if you're talking to the right people, to the to the real individuals that you need to talk to, you ain't going to walk away from that conversation feeling like you had to check in with somebody. You're going to feel like you've done business with somebody who has some respect. With somebody who's going to really be have your best interests in mind. If you're talking to idiots and you're checking in with idiots and people who can't do nothing for you like myself... <laughs> then you may not feel as like you like you need to be involved with that people. You may not feel like they can do anything for you. You ain't just checking in with any old gangbanger. No. But if you have money and you're out here with the with the might mentality that you're going to make money in this city and you're going to respect the soil you and you talk to you're going to talk to the right people when you get here. The right people will you you will you will be reached out to I, I'd imagine. That's really what it comes down to. So, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if this has anything to do with with that in that particular situation. Uh, but I do know that um, when things happen out here, somebody knows what happened. Somebody knows what happened, or somebody knows somebody who can find out what happened quickly. And, and that's how it's always been since I was a little bitty kid living in L.A. It's always been that way. And when Tupac died, the streets knew who did it immediately. When Biggie died, the streets knew who did it immediately. It, 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 the world didn't know. But those situations were handled quickly, believe it or not. Like they were. So, oh, man, I don't know what to tell y'all other than... just sad man it's sad that i gotta make a video like this that i gotta try to convince people to be careful in my own in the city that i was raised in convince people who are from out of town that if you're gonna come out here and get money there there's some rules that you're gonna have to follow and there's some things that you're gonna have to know and if you don't if you if you're completely unaware of that the wolves can get you or they will at least attack and put you in a position to have to strike yourself and like I said, some people are ready for that. Most are not. So when you come out here, just be careful. Honestly, just be careful. Anywhere you go, be careful for sure. Don't get it twisted. Everywhere has their goons. Everywhere has their laws. Everywhere has their their um, their codes, so to speak. But LA's is different than where most what most are. And I think that a lot of people from out of town, even people who've been to a million different places, if they've never been here, they think that this place is like all of those others. And it's just not. It's truly not. Anyway, that's all I got to say, man. Solidarity to you and where you're from and your people's respect here. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the guy to talk to. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just a, a person who watches and pays attention and and shares what he's what he's aware of. That's it. But um, I hope that we can stop seeing stories like this, man. Homeboy was 20 years old. 20. Whatever he did to whomever he did it to, if anything at all, there should have been a better way to solve that shit than uh, execution. Like, this is some fucked up shit to do to somebody. Straight up. And I know it happens every day to people even younger than him. I get it. But um shouldn't have happened. This should not have happened. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Peace to all of y'all.